Hi, today I want to kind of repeat a um, tutorial or follow along I already did, but today I bought some moss assets from CG Trader. They're 70% off, so it's just a couple of bucks for pretty nice moss shader. And I want to use them with, in my opinion, the best scattering system on the market and that is the one that comes with true terrain but to utilize that we need to make it to true terrain assets so i'm going to show you how i'm doing that so what we're going to do is we're going to append from um, if you buy the cg trader asset pack you have those blend files and I'm going to append from the Moss Scatter Elements Asset Kit blend file and go to the objects and then I'm taking well all of these and bring them in and as you can see they're already there and all's fine they're just the individual pieces of moss you get from here okay so they're not much use for us right now so what i'm going to do is i'm heading over to edit preferences go to my add-ons if you have a lot of them you can search for true i'm going to true ultimate and then i'm taking let's start with all the C, Moss C um, meshes, and then I'm going to go to Import Assets, take the selected, use, let's make this Moss underscore C, copy that. The asset category must be named the same as your. Um, asset name so go to custom copy that in here you can change that to and leave it as you want however just create from selected it will take some time and it renders a very strange icon but that's what it is we will change that later so we have moss c already done Let's do the same thing with A. A is obviously a larger collection. So no, 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 I only want A. Select those, go back to our preferences window and say, now it's Moss A, go to custom. Uh, well, you, there you go. Moss A, create from selected, we'll do the same thing, you know what, and you can repeat that for B, D and E as well, I just want to share the process with you. So let's see if that has worked, let's open up a new blend file, we can close that and just bring in I don't know a sphere like so let's go to assets and we set moss a at moss a and we can play with our assets and our modifiers so let's bring open up this scale a little bit like so and we can have all the modifiers available and we have another one in here as well so bring in you know what let's just duplicate this one duplicate go to our asset setting and take moss c which we have taken select that and we're good and again you can play and use all these great modifiers like let's lose, use the 
hide mask and get yeah works perfectly that's how you import those and in the end you could for example take this one make a 500 by 500 okay like so go to our camera and what we're doing now is we are you can what you could do is render this as your icon and so for example like so so you're getting some feedback on how your specific moss will look like you're rendering this shouldn't take long and it does not and of course we have the second asset in here as well doesn't matter looks good um, just showing you how to change that so you save save as you go to your true terrain assets go to icons particles and you have moss c you've got the moss cg pack and you're going you can i think you can leave that with png but just let's switch to gpack take what's already in here save the image open up a new file because I think I it does blender doesn't need a restart so let's see if that has worked now another cycle uh, let's bring in a cube asset moss a is still the old one and moss c is also the old one so you probably need to restart blender and as you can see i have already done this and i have chosen to take um, this sort of icon and if you are too lazy to make your own icons for true terrain there will be a description to my google drive where you can download those icons and just put them into your true terrain uh, icon folder um, just make sure the name of your icon is exactly the same as your asset as you have saved it and then it should work fine hope that was helpful for you uh, of course you can take any asset from any add-on or asset pack and um, make them into a true terrain asset just by following these very simple steps hope that helps see you next time bye bye